Hello everybody and welcome back to Willowire. Today we are playing Animal Crossing and I actually got Momo to sit in to watch. Yes. It'll help for reviews later. I suppose. So, to start off I'm going to say my town is completely messed up because my clock got messed up. Uh, it decided, I don't want to be the correct date, I want to be 2022 in February. I was like, this doesn't look right. February 1st, 2022. Yeah, so I had to go back and fix the clock, which weeded my whole town. And I picked what I could for now, but we're just going to have to work on it as we go and hope the clock doesn't do that again. So, without further ado, to Nook's Cranny. <laughs> so you're back again today. Very good, yes. Very reliable. Well, let's get to work. My eyes must be failing, for it seems as though you have yet to deliver that furniture. Never make a customer wait. If you forgot who it is, just select the furniture in the item screen. Oh yeah, I forgot who it was. Alright, let's go deliver this to whoever it was. I wonder if anybody else is in my town now. Um... Oh, Lulu. Okay, there we go. Also, I got these letters. My secret recipe for double cocoa caramel cake is getting rave reviews all over the neighborhood. I should start a business. I'd make a fortune. Then I could retire. Love, Mom. Aww. Uh. Always remember to use the bathroom before you go to sleep. Otherwise, you may suffer a horrible fate like your poor Uncle Dweezil. The horror, mom. <laughs> okay, well let's throw that away. Okay, now that we're done with that. To Lulu. Where was Lulu? I think she was over here. Oh, I remember where Lulu is. I can't believe I remember where Lulu is. Weeds. <laughs> so, Momo, what do you think of the art style? No? That's surprising. You normally get into those games that everybody else gets into. Not really. You totally do. Think about Monster Hunter. And this is quite typically a girl's game. What? It is. Girls like this game way more than guys do. I don't really care for, for what I've seen from other people. <laughs> I don't care for any version except this one. Oh, that's Stella. Absolutely nothing. Lulu, where are you? You look like a girl. Don't do that. Lulu, I knew you were a hippo. Ah, Kanichiwa. Not bad, eh? I've been studying Japanese recently, y'all. Cool, huh? Willow, if you ever want to study with me, you just say the word, okay? So, what's going on, y'all? Delivery! Hey, you! Why are you delivering for Tom Nook? Oh, I get it. You're working for him part-time, but <coughs> why? Teehee. <laughs> You're so silly, you know it's totally smarter to move after you find a house. Even I know that. <coughs> so, like, you don't even have cash to buy the basics? Gee. Hey, tell you what, take this pear wardrobe, y'all. Hey, don't worry about it. No biggie, y'all. You could totally use it to practice, too. You know? <laughs> practice what? Hee <laughs> hee. Aren't you just as silly as ever? Practice interior design in your house, of course. Here's what you do. Put it in your house. I know how to put things in my house, madam. Do you? I know who Okay, there we go. Time to go back to Nook. After I drop stuff off at my house, because I'm starting to get a hole in the door. Whee! Ow, my face. I forgot about the notice board. Cockroaches! No! I didn't want to pick it up. These things are just as annoying to squish in the game as they are in real life. I keep trying to use my uh, D-pad. 
Okay, that's not where. There we go. <clears throat> yes, let us insert our clothing. One more. There we go. And now we'll drop off our sewing machine. Oh dear god. And Sir, now we'll drop off the tape I, deck. I would like to tell you that I think your house looks like a dungeon. A little bit. Any more? Another cockroach came out of it. Oh gosh. Oh gosh, how many cockroaches are in that? Get that clean! <laughs> You gotta squish them all or else they just keep coming back. Okay. I like the little bug ghosts. <laughs> <laughs> so in this game you can also write letters. Look in the notice board. Oh my. Did you realize you had mail for 2022? See, this was the first day that I played the game. Then it jumped to there, which is fine. And then there, which is also fine. That was all the same day that I played it. And then that. December. It's like, how did that happen? I'm not interested in that. I'm interested in the next up one. <laughs> that. <laughs> 2022. Well, that's what Great I mean. Time travel. Like, look how many days traveled. I only turned this game on twice. There was the day that I ended, which was this one. And then all of a sudden it jumped to that when I turned it back on. That, 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 that. And the last one was going to be February. It's like, why are these days changing like this? I'm traveling? Like, I'm not even touching the time on my GameCube or on the game. So I'm wondering if something's really messed up. Oh, by the way, when you're fishing, just because it's a big fish doesn't mean it's a good fish. Oh. Sometimes the little fish are the rare ones. I like fishing. Welcome back, Worker B. It looks like you delivered the furniture. Nice work. You did a good job, so I figured that earned you, oh, say, 230 bells. Not bad wages, hmm? Now, on to your next task. Hmm, what's that? You say it's too difficult to try to find things without a map? Honestly, kids these days and their constant complaints. Why, when I was just a little raccoon, I, oh, never mind. Okay, okay, here's a map. Press the X button to look at it. About damn time. Your next job is to write some copy for a direct mailing. You know, sort of a personal advertisement. I want you to send it to Fang, who lives in an acre somewhere in Rose C. It's just good business. Fang is a very loyal customer, so this is a notice of special sale. As for what you write, well, I'll just leave it up to you, Willow, but try to make it exciting. Oh, and you might want to think about introducing yourself as Willow, who works for me, yes? You can use this stationery to write the letter. Go to the post office to mail the letter, yes? You'll find the post office in Acre A5. Now, hurry back, hmm? Heh heh heh, you made a mistake. Why it actually take the whole time? Yes. Olden days, you know. What do I space though? Does that supposed to be your character talking? Like you're just sitting there writing, you're just saying out every single letter as you write it down the paper. walks by instead of hearing you talk in a sentence or just hearing you talk in individual letters. <laughs> Why? Wait a minute, wait a minute, can I pick up the flowers? No. Hang on. Our light is having some issue today. It is. Now I'm going blind because of the light outside. I feel like I wasn't this dark when we started. I'm also going to send him a rotted orange. We- oh, look at that stationery. Dump. Well, dump. It's mine you now. trash picker. One person's trash is another person's Trevor, treasure. Trevor. Trevor. <laughs> <laughs> you just insulted all the Trevors of the world. Stop. <laughs> Good 
day. How can I help you? Mail a letter. <laughs> ah, yes, I see. Would you like to mail more letters? No. Oh, really? Come back anytime. This was for e-cards. No idea how the hell you put an e-card into this, but it was for e-cards. It's probably part of the Game Boy Advance feature, which is actually a really cool feature in this game. You can go to a little island, and it's all done on your Game Boy. There's random fruit that sits on the ground from the trees. Yeah, I dropped it all down so I could get it later. As soon as I'm no longer employed, I can buy and sell at the shop. Which is what I'm trying to do now. I'm trying to become unemployed. Which is kind of weird when you think about it. Did you send the letter? Hmm? Good job. It took you longer than I'd have liked, so I'll have to talk to you a bit. How does 130 bells at you? Oh, it took me longer to do the last one. But I'm glad you got it done. After all, if you can't even write a letter, you're going to have problems with sound. Now I'm glad I wrote the letter I wrote. Oh, yes, well. I, uh, haven't actually prepared the next package I need you to deliver. Mm, I'm a bit behind. It would be a waste for you to just hang around here and wait for me, so why don't you go help out the villagers? You may find you can do a little better working for them than you can for me. Not much better, yes. But be, or just be sure to come back here after a bit, hmm? Probably a lot better. You're gonna write more sucky letters to people? So I'm gonna go see what Fang says. <laughs> well, if it isn't my neighborhood, Willow, I'm mine. Loafing about as usual this afternoon, are we? Looks like it to me, Cha Chomp. Don't you have a job, Cha Chomp? You really should get one. Hey, why are you even talking to me, Cha Chomp? I need work. You're looking to help me out, eh? Well, in that case, I need you to go out to Jane's place for me. I lent my organizer to Jane some time ago, but now I need it back for personal reasons. So will you get it for me? Yes. Okay, that's all I have to say. Get a move on. Personal reasons. I'm going to Jane's house. Hoping Tarzan's not mad. My god, there's so many trees. I would love to see a person in real life. <laughs> Just slam their face into a bunch of trees as they're walking down the road. There's so many. I'm sorry, but I'm in a hurry right now, Jim. Oh, oh, my mistake. It's Willow, huh? I thought you were going to hit on me or ask me for a favor, Jim. I seem to be just as popular with boys and girls alike, you know? Everyone wants to be my friend. Ah, sometimes it's just too much, Jim. But let's get right to the point. What can I do for you, Jim? I'm picking up. Here's Fang's organizer taking care of it now. I knew I should have returned it sooner. I do hope you'll make a good cover story for me. You will, won't you? What were you doing? That's what I need from you it, in its entirety. It's in your hands now, Jim. She stole it and I got it back for you. She was never going to give it back. I had to pry it from her. You know, this is almost like that anime that you watch. A bunch of animals living together. Hmm, Willow, huh? What is it, Jajump? So then, Jajump, why are you here? Delivery! Oh ho, it's finally back! My organizer is finally back! I guess I really owe you one for this, thanks. Since you helped me out, I'm giving you this. See, it's stationary. You got a problem with that? Yes. Well, I guess you deserve thanks. When I've got more work to do, I'll make sure the one that who does it. But yes, yeah, okay. so in this game, you basically go around the entire town doing chores and stuff for other people. You said that show where the animals live here. Are you talking about Beastar? Yes. You're referring this to Beastar. Yes. I am insulted. The critters in town are all fairly generous. So your work never goes unrewarded. That's quite nice, yes? Next, I need you to deliver a nice carpet for me, yes? And don't dilly-dally along the way. Take this carpet to Stella, yes? Stella! Just because I'm not watching, that doesn't mean you can stop a chit-chat with folk you meet along the way. Then again, there's no way I can keep tabs on you. Just try not to gab too much. 
Tell me when you're done. There's no IT tabs on you that has a freaking GPS planted on you. Well, they know if you reset the game, I can tell you that much. If you reset the game, you get the wrath of Mr. Rossetti. <laughs> but I don't feel like boring the audience with hours of freaking talking. Good afternoon, buddy Bing. So, what can I do for you, buddy Bing? Delivery. Hey, thanks for coming. I've been waiting for you. Did you get lost on the way here, buddy? I've been looking forward to getting this carpet all week. After all, carpeting and wallpaper are both very important when it comes to bringing a room together. You should try lots of different floor styles, too. You can have my old rug if you like, Bada Bing. I can't say Bada Bing for some reason. It'll blow your mind how many different kinds of wallpaper and carpeting there are, no kidding. The key is to look carefully through them all and find the styles that best match your house, Bada Bing. There are some patterns that are really hard to come by, too. Your best bet is to check the store every day. Yep, old Tom puts out new products daily. Wait, why am I telling you this? You work for him, he. <laughs> anyway, if you don't pay attention to what he's got, you might miss the perfect pattern, Bada Bing. Oh, I'm sorry. Where is my mind? I shouldn't take up your time while you're on the clock, Bada Bing. Bye! Yeah, I could be getting my house paid for. How dare you? It's like real life. Only in real life I get paid while I'm on the clock. Charge. Hello. Welcome back, dear employee. Very good, yes. It looks like you're finally getting into the hang of things around here. Uh, the way you work, I'd be happy to have you work full time. Wouldn't that be a treat? Mm? In any case, I can see you're putting a lot of effort into your work, so this time I'll give you 580 bells. Next, I need you to deliver an axe to Fang. Be extra careful with it, him. I see that light in your eyes. Now the stuff you deliver is wrapped, so you couldn't use it even if you wanted to. So don't get any ideas, hmm? If you want to cut down any trees, you'll have to get your own axe, yes? Very good, then give it your best shot. And tell me when you're done, yes? Charge to Fang! So really, this is basically like a delivery game in the beginning. But then it throws you for a loop, because then you can do all kinds of other stuff. Hmm? Willow, huh? What is it, Chichomp? Hey, why are you even talking to me, Chichomp? Delivery! A lot of delivery to Fang. Oh, that's my- uh, that's the thing- that- the, That's that thing! <laughs> that's that thing! <laughs> you brought it about time, you lazy little- Uh, chill out, I'm joking. <laughs> oh, I slay me all. Anyway, my dear delivery nookling. Did you send me this, Chichomp? <laughs> Maybe? <laughs> It's pretty darn funny. But, uh, so what's it say? Brrrr! I'm just kidding, Chump Chump. I actually like getting letters. Yep, puts me in a good mood. Who wouldn't like a letter? I keep every one I get. <laughs> and I'm not stingy with them either. I show them off to anybody and everybody to chump, believe it. That's why you ought to pay attention to what you write. You never know who's going to read it. If I get stuck having to show off all humiliating letters, I'll get mad. And you won't like me mad, Chichomp. It's not just a passing thing. When I move, and I will, someday, I'm taking all my letters to Chomp. Yep, I'll just hop on a train with all my stuff in tow, go to another town, and show off my letters there. And maybe, just maybe, someone will move here and show you someone else's letters to Chomp. Will it also say about how they suck? Yes. Actually, I don't even know what the letters would say because all my other memory cards that they would be coming from, there's a lot of characters. Welcome back! Nice work! Yes, very good, yes. Now let's see the chore earned you a solid 230 bells. Hmm, what to do? Mm, your next job will be. Ah, yes, now I remember. You've seen that bulletin board in front of your house, haven't you? 
Well, I want you to write an ad for my shop on that bulletin board. You get foot traffic around there, yes? You can write whatever catchy slogan you like. Just make sure it sounds exciting. Mm -hmm. And don't write anything that might embarrass me. Once you write something on it, you can never erase it. Well, off you go. And let me know when you're all done, yes? <laughs> and he cannot laugh. Tom Nook likes big butts. <laughs> now he'll get all the big butt people coming into your shop. Mm. Welcome back! Did you put a buzz generating ad up there? Something animals will talk about over the water pool? <laughs> Very good, yes. I suppose. Mm, that means. Yes, you're all done! All the work I hadn't gotten around to is now all done. How wonderful for me, hmm? Since I don't have any more work for you to do, I'm afraid I have no choice but to let you go. Hmm? The rest of your mortgage? Oh, of course you still have to pay all of that off. That's just how life works. Let me just have a look at my records, hmm? Yes, so far you've worked off a total of 1,400 bells. So you have 17,400 17, bells left to pay. Not exactly a sum to sneeze at, hmm? Since there's no more work for you here, you'll have to figure out how to pay it off on your own. Now how could a youngster go about making some bells? I suppose running errands to the or for the villagers. And selling things you no longer need to, hmm? That should generate some cash flow, I should think. If you've got stuff to sell, just come talk to me, yes? I'll give you a very fair price for anything you've got. Oh, and when you want to make a mortgage payment, do it at the post office for me. Tax purposes, you know? Hmm? If you can pay off about 1,000 bells a week, that'll work for me. Otherwise, I'll send the, uh, for the raccoon goons. Whoa, ho, 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 just a joke. Once you pay it all off, we can talk about remodeling the place for you. That house you've got now is pretty small after all, and I'm sure you'd like a little more room, yes? Well, thanks for your help. I hope you'll come see me for all of your future shopping needs, hmm? Yay! Yeah! I'm finally done working! I'm free! I'm free! <laughs> okay, now let's do like oranges. Welcome! Do come in! Orange time! Actually, I don't really need the paper either. No! That's not what I wanted to do. I know there's a way to mark them all. I gotta figure out what it is. There we go. What color is that? I oh, will keep that. Now the other fruits that aren't from this town are 500 apiece. Which is very much useful. I don't see- Oh, I need a shovel. No, you didn't steal something. It's a steal? <laughs> Yes! I want that. So basically all he's explaining here is just how to use the shovel and what you can dig up, what you can't. Alright, let's get that shovel going. Finally, some usefulness. This is where this game takes forever, because this game requires all the different things to do everything, and you have to wait a day for each one. I got a fossil! Hello, buddy! Alright, well these died, so they can go away. That's another option for getting rid of weeds, you can just dig them up. Got a couple minutes left, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use those couple minutes to run down to the museum with that, come on you, with that new little thing that I just got, the little fossil. Can you sell that? 
I could, but it's more... It's better to go to the museum with the fossil, for two reasons. Well, in this case... I just case. meant if you could sell it to the museum. Oh, no, they take donations. Rude. <laughs> but this works out in a way. The museum only takes one of each fossil. Ah, so you can sell the others? Right. Oh, hmm. What? What time is it? I'm so very sleepy. Oh dear me, you're a thousand pardons. So terribly sorry. I'm afraid I'm a bit of a night um, owl. Yes. Yes, well, by the by, might there be something in which I can assist you? Oh, yes, indeed. Tell me, what might you be from there? Uh. We're just gonna say yes. Yes, true, true. The place I send you send fossils. Quite right. Very good. Yes. Let's get started, shall we? Get down to breast tax, eh? Basically, he's just telling me that this museum is a miniature version of the other museum, and that I can send things to that museum to be evaluated to see what they are, and they will send it back to me. Alright, so now that I have that information, I have to unfortunately get more paper, of which I just saw. <laughs> Didn't think that through. Oh, oh. And it's not always fossils that you dig up either. It's also Megaphysoid! There's all kinds of those little things, which I guess I can show you guys right before I save. But I got that. Oh, there's another one over here. No! There's another fossil. Man, I really should have kept those letters. Wow, I was heading back home and now I'm just finding them all. But these things will pop up daily as well. Between fossils and gyroids and other things, there's what I was looking for. And these. Check it out, I dug up a thousand bells. Now normally... Someone buried a thousand bells. Normally what I would do is plant that back where I just dug it up. Yeah. But the problem is... There's a tree right here that I can't cut down. Uh huh. So it won't grow. If I did plant that in that hole. How do you say you get a money tree? You get a money tree. It's pretty cool. It gets like a thousand bells per bag or something like that. I can't remember. I do believe the money tree only has it for like one time. And there's another thing you can do too. I think it's a shovel. If you bury a shovel, you'll get a golden shovel. But it has to be in that hole. It has to be the golden hole. Sounds horrible for some reason. Okay, now I'll show you what the gyroid is. Or, in this case, physoid. Basically, you drop these to make music. And then we'll spread this on the floor. Look, now I got an exquisite rug. Alright. Considering I messed up a little bit. Go to Tom Nook real quick. Because I know he has more stationery there. And the good thing about, about buying the other stationery and stuff like that as well is every time you buy something, it goes into your catalog so you can buy it again. And if you miss something, you have no idea how long before it comes back up. Since there's hundreds of items, it could take a while. Yeah. 160. That's insane. Just sold your paper there for uh, 40. Well, at least I get three of these back. Uh, apparently I did it wrong. Crud. All right. Well, I can't do it in this episode. But that is how you get the fossils, gyroids. Graduate from your shop class. Uh. Trades, digs, I don't know if I said that already or not. But it's how you do all that stuff. So I've shown a bit in this one, and I think I'm good with that for now. So if you guys have enjoyed this, hit that like subscribe button. I'll catch you guys in the next episode. Bye! Bye!